A lot of low-income toddlers tend to co-sleep, meaning that they sleep in the same room or same bed as their parents. And um, the National Sleep Foundation recommends that parents or adults get seven to nine hours of sleep per night. So we wanted to see how co-sleeping relates to uh, maternal sleep and maternal mental health. Co-sleeping um, is actually a really hot topic, especially in infancy. Um, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that infants sleep in the same room as parents, but not on the same um, bed or same sleeping surface to, pre to prevent sudden infant death syndrome, which is also abbreviated as SIDS. It's normal for toddlers to wake up in the middle of the night, um, and at this age they're learning to self-soothe and put themselves back to sleep without mom's help. However, um, even though this is normal, moms may think that these awakenings are an issue and therefore um, may choose to, to sleep with them. In toddlerhood, there really aren't recommendations in terms of where toddlers should be sleeping and if um, co-sleeping is really an issue. So what we wanted to look at was how co-sleeping affects maternal sleep in toddlerhood because at that point, toddlers are transitioning from a crib to a bed and if moms are concerned about their sleep, then they're more likely to share a bed or a room with them. In this study, we used questionnaires, so we were really relying on what parents said, what moms said, um, which is important because we need to know about perceptions. They are also uh, and important to examine. So we used questionnaires and asked uh, over 200 mothers in the Baltimore area about their own sleep, their own mental health, so their own depression, anxiety, and stress, uh, as well as their perceptions of their toddler's sleep, whether or not they thought their toddler had trouble sleeping or had a sleep problem and whether or not they were sleeping in the same room or in the same bed with their toddler. We found that um, mothers who did co-sleep with their toddlers got less sleep at night, which makes a lot of sense. If toddlers are waking up in the middle of the night, they're going to be more likely to then disturb mom uh, and both are going to have more troubled sleep. So we found that moms got less sleep when they shared a bed or uh, were in the same room as their toddler. Ultimately, we also found that that less sleep translated into uh, more depression symptoms, more symptoms of anxiety, and more stress. This is definitely a conversation that parents can have with their pediatricians, and pediatricians might be uh, more informed uh, about the potential ramifications and sort of co-occurrences that might happen when families choose to co-sleep, especially if the toddler has a sleep problem or mom thinks that their toddler has a sleep problem. Family physicians should really think about not just toddler sleep, but also mom sleep, especially if co-sleeping is occurring. Um, and they should encourage moms to consider alternatives to co-sleeping if, um, if their moms are concerned about sleep problems so that toddlers can begin to develop those self-soothing behaviors, get back to sleep without mom's help, um, and ultimately mom can have better sleep.